Hi everyone, so this video is just going to be my everyday kind of go-to eyeshadow look, I guess. I've been doing this look for a while and it's kind of the one that I would normally do if I wanted like a smoky eye or something a bit more than a neutral look. If you'd like to see how I got this makeup then please keep on watching. I'm going to start off using Max Strobe Cream and I'm just going to apply this with my fingers like I would a moisturiser. This is going to act like a primer and moisturising skin as well. And then it's going to make the foundation look illuminating slightly. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am in the shade 1W2 Sand. Um, I'm going to blend that in with a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Making sure to blend it down the neck. I've got these like black marks on my neck because we were doing body art at college and using grease paint and it does not come up easily in some of my arms as well. I'm now going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 15. The shade 10 concealer is actually darker than 15. At least the one I've got is, which is really weird. I don't know why that is. I'm going to blend that in with this Topshop foundation brush. I think this would be quite small to do foundation, but it blends out concealer really well. Excuse my terrible rates, I'm getting that done soon. I'm now going to take this Bare Minerals Concealer in Well Rested. It's a, um, a powder concealer. It just helps brighten under the eye area. Oh, and I'm using a Real Techniques setting brush. I'm then taking the Double Wear Powder to go with the foundation. This one's in <clears throat> 1W1 Bone, so it's a bit lighter than the foundation. It's really nice. It comes with a thing, <laughs> but I'm just going to use a brush. This is the Large Powder F30 Sigma Brush. I'm going to take the Sigma Brow Kit and use the lightest shade. I'm actually going to use the little brush it comes with. This is pretty much the only thing I use for my brows. I should probably try other ones, but I find this works the best. Okay, they're not looking their best, but what can you do? I'm then going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set in Empathetically Blonde. This, um, as well as setting the brow product, makes my eyebrows a little bit lighter. I'm just going to take the concealer and neaten it up. Now I'm going to take the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre all over my eyelid. This um, helps the eyeshadows last longer and brings the pigment out more. Okay, so I'm going to take the Naked Palette and with a Sigma Eyeshading E55 brush and the shade Half Baked, which is this gold one. I'm going to put that on the base of my lid. I 
in my opinion, I think Urban Decay do the best eyeshadows. And um, if you're looking for a really good neutral palette, I'd go for the first one. Okay, I'm going to take um, the Tapered E35 Blending Brush with the shade Naked, which is this one. I'm putting this into the crease. You can soften the edges with a Sigma Taper Blending E40 brush, which is a bit bigger than the other one. I'm then going to make that a bit darker using the shade Buck, which is this one. Sigma E25 brush, which is the blending one, which is a bit dirty. Um, I'm going to take Smog, which is this one. This is a more defining blending brush than the other one I used. You can get it into the crease more. I'm also going to put this on the um, outer half of the lid, or outer third, whatever you feel like. I'm going to take Dark Force and kind of do the same again, just making it darker really. and just blend out the edges. I'm going to go back over with the gold colour. I'm then going to take the Sigma Short Shader E20 brush with the same gold colour and blend it underneath. About three quarters of the way. And then I'm going to take Dark Horse the same brush and do it on the outside. You could leave it at that, but I like to make my eye makeup quite dark, so I'm going to take the Naked Tea palette now and the shade Blackout, which is this one, with a Sigma Pencil E30 brush. You don't need a lot of this because it is really pigmented. And I'm just going to put this in the outer V of the eye. And blend it in. I'm also going to blend it underneath a bit. You can see that I put a bit too much on there. I'm then going to take Sigma Large Shader E60 brush and the shade Foxy, which is in the Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to use this to put under my brow bone. I'm going to put this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in zero, which is this end. Any black coal liner will do, but I prefer the ones that are kind of creamier and more gel-like. Yeah, this is pretty hard, I can't see. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do winged eyeliner, but I am going to take this Ico pen eyeliner and just lightly line 
the upper lash line. I'm not even going to do it all, just like the outer bit. Just to add a bit more definition. But it's not really necessary. I'm now going to take this Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is a new one. So far, I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I find if I put my head up, it prevents the lashes from touching my head. I'm now taking this Kiko palette. This is O2 Smoky Colour one. And I'm going to take the bronzer in it. A large angled contour F40 brush. This is quite dark on me, so I'm not going to use too much. I'm ready to blend it out. I'm not going to do any heavy contour or anything. I'm now taking this Rockature blush by Benefit. It's just a subtle dusky rose colour and the Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. Blush brush? That's hard to say. I'm just putting it above where I put the bronzer. And a little bit on the apples of the cheek. I'm really sorry the lighting keeps changing, it's gradually getting darker, it's like 20 to 5. I'm now going to lightly line my lips with this number 7 Precision Lips Pencil. Yeah, it's just called Nude. I don't tend to use a lip liner that much, so I'm just literally going to do it lightly. I'm then taking this Maybelline tantalising taupe nude lipstick. And over the top of that, I'm going to take Max Myth lipstick, which is a very pale nude colour. It's like a curly nude, kind of. And I'm just putting this in the middle. I'm rubbing it together. It's not really an ombre lip, but it's a little bit like one. To finish off, I'm going to take the Benefit What's Up highlighter. This is a sample size, but you can get a bigger one. I'm going to put this on the tops of my cheekbones and blend it in with my finger. Again, this is an entirely optional step. And then I'm also going to take it a little bit on my cupid's bow, which is the top of your lips here. And it adds a little bit of a pouty effect. I have pretty thin lips. I almost forgot, I'm going to take this MAC lip gloss in Modest, this is a mineralised gloss, I'm just going to put this over. You can just see the eye makeup. I'm going to put these earrings in to go over my outfit. They are from River Island. And I only got them the other day, so they should still be available. I normally just clip my hair back like this, because it's just, I don't know. I'm not very good at hair. It's something easy to do. So this is the finished makeup look. If you like this video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.